Kelly D and today we're making another short video from the potato. Now I would have done a number of potato recipes on this channel so if you happen to have a lot of potatoes on your hand the potato is so versatile there are so many things you can do with it so I'm gonna link some of the videos in the i cards above and also in the description box below you will see many ways where you can prepare the potato but today we're going to be making creamy mashed potatoes so let's go over the ingredients we have 10 medium-sized english potatoes now i would have peeled the potatoes first you can use either a potato peeler and if you don't have one a pair of knife is just as good once our potatoes are peeled we're going to cut them as even as possible once the potatoes are cut evenly they will cook evenly and i have them soaking in water water prevents oxidization so we have 10 medium-sized potatoes and to make our creamy mashed potatoes really creamy i always add milk so we have half a cup of milk almond milk you may use any other type of milk that you have we have four ounces of softened butter now it's important to have your butter at room temperature it's easier to work with once your butter is soft so four ounces of butter half of an onion chopped a white onion chopped two cloves of garlic also chopped and you must add the spices so we have some black pepper quarter teaspoon of black pepper and a quarter teaspoon of salt now if you think sometimes it wants a little more salt maybe we'll adjust it as we go along but for now we're going to start with quarter teaspoon is better to put in too little than to put in too much and then we have two tablespoons of oil our first step is to drain our potatoes so we're going to drain the water off of the potatoes then we're going to add them to a pot of water of course we're going to add our salt pepper and the oil and we will allow them to cook for about 20 minutes or until they are nice and tender potatoes are now ready and they are so soft they literally falling off of the fork this is perfect all we need to do now is to add our milk and our butter to start to cream them now i'm going to use the potato masher some persons can use a blender i never use a blender to cream mashed potatoes or to mash the potatoes so i'm going to use the potato masher and it's always better to do it when the potatoes are hot because it's easier to mash them. You see how easy it falls? It mashes the potatoes. So once I've done that, I'm gonna add some of the butter and the milk, no particular order. And we're gonna have the creamiest mashed potatoes ever. Now, just to make it easier, I'm also going to use the spatula. Once I've mashed it, I'll just use the spatula to make sure I just try to get it as nice and creamy. And if I see any additional lumps, then I will go get the potato masher again. But just look at it. Just look at how soft and smooth it looks. I can't wait to taste it. Creamy mashed potato. This is a perfect side dish to add to any menu now it's finished it's time to taste they look good soft and smooth now to taste mm. It's so silky, it literally feels as if it melts in your mouth. 
creamy mashed potatoes. Now you need to try it.